I knew since I was 12 that I was going to be a labor and employment lawyer. 12, um, how should I put it, my physical limitations in terms of being a professional baseball player became more immediately apparent and I knew I would have to move into a different career path. So being 12 years old, I thought about astronaut for a while um, and then uh, literally, we had an experience uh, with a science project that took us to the museum. We got to taste uh, dehydrated ice cream that they send with the astronauts. And that's when I decided I did not want to be an astronaut uh, anymore. So I looked around and I decided I was going to be a lawyer and I was going to be a labor lawyer representing unions because uh, I felt a, an affinity for the labor movement. I wanted to help employees. I wanted to help unions. Um, against uh, against management. A couple of different things. My parents are both teachers and they were not hugely active in their union movement but they were on strike periodically when I was uh, when I was young and my father was on the bargaining committee during one of the strikes when I was four years old and apparently he tells stories that I was walking the picket line but being four I don't remember that. The uh, So I, I guess partially it, it came through my family um, the the affinity for the social justice partly through uh, the church that I attended at the time was a very socially progressive and active uh, church community in, in that way. So we did a lot of volunteer uh, work through the church and through other organizations. So it was just sort of something I grew up with, uh, knew in that I, uh, I wanted to help people. Um, I was interested in law. It seemed like a challenging area and I liked studying history and I liked thinking about politics uh, even as a 12-year-old. So um, it seemed like what I wanted to do and I stuck with it.